Hello, this is Haku Dabin, and I'm here with SCP-3866, also known as, I think, Youth in Asia. I wonder if it's a pun on euthanasia because of the end of death. We'll see. Item number, SCP-3866, Object Class, Safe. Special Concern Procedures. All known instances of SCP-3866 are to be kept in a secure container at Site-23. Testing may only take place if a long-term humanoid containment pod is available. Description SCP-3866 refers to a group of unmarked pharmaceutical tablets recovered during the raid of an amateur medical facility in Palm Beach, Florida. See Addendum SCP-3866 for our details. Ingestion of 3866 causes the subject to immediately enter a hibernation-like state, lowering brain activity immensely and slowing the subject's heart rate to approximately 1 beat every 34 days. It is currently unknown on exactly how long an, an individual can survive in this state, although estimates project that humans can survive at for at least 3,000 years. There is no method to achieve the state with modern medical equipment. Oh, let's be real. A human in this state can probably survive forever if they are cursed with immortality anyway. This assumes the subject is a baseline human and is given an adequate ad ad oxygen and nutrition supply. Addendum SCP-3866-1 On April 18th, 20-something, MTF Epsilon-6, or the Village Idiots, commenced an investigation of an unnamed amateur medical facility offering in euthanasia in Palm Beach, Florida. The majority of the patients who approached the facility sought physician-assisted suicide. The investigation was initiated After the onset of an Omega K class end of death scenario, due to the nature of this scenario, it was necessary to determine if the operation was fraudulent or anomalous. Monitoring of the facility showed that the operation was to some degree both fraudulent and anomalous. It did not terminate the patients, but what uh, as a result it did achieve were obtained through anomalous means. Once patients adjusted SCP-3866, employees of the facility would bury the body behind the facility. MTF Epsilon 6 buried the facility on April 29th and apprehended all personnel. Include, this included the leader of the operation, Jacob Bossman. A series of text messages were are recovered from Bossman's phone between him and an individual old labeled in Bossman's and contact as Dadu. Hang on, let me denote it below as text in red. Okay, I was told to message you directly about details about the medicine. But just making sure. You talk to Alex. X Bennings, right? Yes, spoke with Benning. Good talk. So are you able to make pills for euthanasia? Euthanasia? Why do you need Asian pills? No, like pills p used for putting people down. Like cyanide? Sort of, but less... As painful, like a peaceful sleep. Oh yes, I have pill for you. Long as sleep. Good. How long do you think it will take egg to get to the first batch to me? Depends on weather. I don't like rain. What's rain got to do with it? No fun walking in rain. Would have to deliver on a different day. Wait, are you delivering them yourself? By foot? You asked me for how long to get to you. No, how long until you'll have the pills made? Oh, they done. Really? Yeah. And they work? 
Cats are still asleep. Well, you really do work as fast as I say. This is why you trust Dado. Alright, we'll come and um, pick them up. You got somewhere to meet? Ask Ben. Be there soon. Okay, see you there in an hour. Interrogation of Hosman and he ordered the exact address of the meeting. At the address was a small apartment containing only a phone, a half-eaten donut, three empty Amazon delivery boxes, and a mattress. And then them SCP-3868-2 between July 3rd and July 16th, civilians reported vocalizations from the area behind the medical facility generally in the form of screaming, weeping, or retching. Investigation into the disturbance determined that the noise was caused by 541 burned ex-patients of the medical facility, 491 of whom had been buried without a casket. After the patients were exhumed, medical personnel extracted all soil and minerals and insects from the bodies to remove evidence of the event. Personnel then administered the patients amnestics and returned them to society with appropriate cover stories. So, they tried to make pills that would put you to sleep probably forever. These pills were faulty and in classic Omega case, a, a um, um, style it led to just more suffering, as does any attempt to end your life when you're cursed with immortality. Whew. That was SCP-3866. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel.